We have team coverage of all of the graduation exercises for you today, beginning with Terry Hegarty, who covered the commencement at Holyoke Catholic High School. Thanks, Ken. If I had to characterize the atmosphere in Holyoke here tonight, I'd have to say it's electric. And thankfully enough, I'm not talking about lightning. While storm clouds moved through the area earlier in the day, the evening was clear, providing a perfect setting for Holyoke Catholic's 48th commencement. 68 diplomas were awarded the evening of June 3rd as the 7 o'clock ceremony was held at St. Jerome Church. Amanda. Bishop Timothy McDonald presented the diplomas. Christina Joy Marie Powell. As proud parents, faculty, friends, and family members looked on. While there will be many parties for these students in the days to come, they're not waiting to celebrate. It feels great, like we're all really excited and everybody's kind of looking forward to college and new chapter of our lives and everything. It's kind of scary, but it's a good thing. Amanda will begin that new chapter at Baypath College, where she plans to study to be an occupational therapist. Also outside celebrating were Nell and Christina Powell. The twin sisters were the ninth and tenth children in their immediate family to graduate from Holyoke Catholic. Both say that the graduation was bittersweet. I'm definitely going to have a tough time um, adjusting to a new team and just leaving all of this behind is going to be really tough. It's definitely really sad because you, know, you may not ever see some of these people again, but it's really it's going to be great to like get, have new experiences outside of here, go to college, meet new friends. Robin and Debbie Powell have 12 children altogether. Holyoke Catholic has been a fantastic uh, experience for all of our children and our family. Uh, it's really been an extension of, uh, of the family. This was the first class that was led by Principal Michael Griffin, who began at the school last summer. This class was fantastic. Uh, the support of teams in the arts and activities was uh, tremendous. Uh, they were just a great group to work with all year, and it's kind of culminating in a nice experience tonight. Principal Griffin says that 97% of the class of 2010 are going on to college. Even though tonight's graduating class was at the Chicopee campus for just a short time, they enjoyed one longtime tradition, celebrating their graduation here at St. Jerome Church in Holyoke. My colleague, Carol Lee McGrath, covered Cathedral High School's graduation ceremony in Springfield. Carol Lee? Terry, by all means, Cathedral's graduation ceremony was bittersweet given the tragic murder of Connor Reynolds. But the seniors we spoke with say as they go out and take on the world, Connor will always be with them. With mixed emotions, Cathedral High School seniors in Springfield processed into the auditorium for the school's 126th commencement ceremony. On the one hand, the teens say they were overjoyed, finally making it to graduation. On the other hand, brokenhearted because one of their classmates was missing. It's going to be very hard um, today, but we know he's here with us, so we're going to stay strong. 17-year-old Connor Reynolds was murdered at an off-campus party on March 13th. According to officials, the soccer star was trying to break up a fight. Cathedral's principal, John Miller, presented Connor's diploma to his parents. Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds, please accept Connor's diploma on behalf of Cathedral High School. We talked a while ago with uh, a uh, counselor who said that uh, the students have to learn that they can go on with life and celebrate and still remember Connor. It's, they don't have to uh, separate themselves from the celebrations. As a matter of fact, knowing the person Connor was, he probably would tell us to celebrate. Cathedral's valedictorian, James Kelleher, who is bound for Brown University, agrees. And that's what we're doing today. We're celebrating him, not mourning him. Danielle Monique Haggerty. Yeah. Springfield Bishop Timothy McDonnell gave the benediction. Life does change, but for those faithful to Christ, life has not ended. We know that Connor now lives in a new and different way and one day we all hope to be with him. In the meantime, these seniors vow to keep his memory alive. Um, we decided to write messages to Connor Reynolds on a cap. Always loved, never forgotten. Each day gets harder and harder, not seeing your smile. 
All the memories I have of you brings happiness and joy to me. We all still wish you were down here with us, but you got the best seat in the house. Can't wait to see you again fly high. And in his honor, that's exactly what his classmates plan to do.